Thanks, Jason. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Because it becomes, it really comes down to this. No matter how you look at the world and how you, you think the world is, look again. Sooner than you can imagine, you're going to see a lot of differences. And wherever you look, at home, at work, or at play, AMD is going to be at the center of a lot of those new visual experiences. Through Fusion and what we refer to as IDEF computing, AMD and our partners are going to be able to enrich and transform the whole visual landscape around you. What you just saw there is the most visually realistic interactive demo that's ever been created. Uh, there was no photography there, that was all computer rendering. In fact, the city block that you saw there looked like a real city block. Could have been any city in the country, say New York, yet it was all digitally created. Now for games, here's what that means. Uh, Cinema 2.0 represents really a quantum leap in graphics and video quality. And for films, this idea of Cinema 2.0 offers the promise of interactivity. For both, Cinema 2.0 has the potential to really transform how con content is created and how users interact with that content. So sooner than you really can imagine, the lines between films and games are going to be completely blurred. Games are going to be much, much more immersive and movies interactive. Imagine that. Both are going to be more like life. I want to welcome out our next guest. This is a fellow who is truly a technology innovator in all of the areas I just talked about. And in fact, he led the very talented team that created the demo you just saw. Let's welcome Jules Erbach, the CEO of LightStage and Otoy. Jules. Jules, thanks for joining us. My pleasure, Jerk. Really appreciate it. Hey, you know, one of the things we talked about is uh, the difficulty of creating photorealistic rendering of the human form in real time. Talk a little bit about the challenges there and what you're doing to overcome those. Well, as you mentioned, uh, as the Ruby demo that we created for you did have one flaw in it. It was, it was the head of Ruby herself. And I think one of the things that looks wrong with a lot of CG work, and uh, certainly we had to face that in that demo, is that skin is very hard to render. It's a complex uh, surface that has uh, many layers to it, and uh, it's very difficult for an artist or even a computer to really model that properly. Mm -hmm. Now, we've shown LightStage before, but we've never really gotten a chance to show how it works in films and how it's been used in films. Um, so courtesy of uh, Marvel and uh, Sony, we're going to show a couple of clips from Spider-Man 2. Uh, let's roll those. And what you're seeing here is the actor Alfred Molina, who played Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 2, being captured on the light stage. And this process is very interesting. Here it is being used in a real film. On the left is a CG light stage capture. On the right, is the real actor. Can you even tell the difference? And for the final shot where you see Doc Ock in the movie, it's all light stage for his face. That's CG, and that's how we see the character in the last shot of the film for uh, where he's, uh, where we're seeing for the last time. It's remarkable, really, when you think about how far we've come with CG, and to be able to take that kind of technology and make a film is phenomenal. Uh, but before we show a real-time demo, I'd like to show one more clip of an actor on the light stage, and some of you may recognize him. Let's roll that clip and take a look. One of the problems with visual effects films is if you use the technology that exists at the time you begin the film, you're usually obsolete by the time you release the film. So you have to go into it making assumptions about what you're going to be able to invent. So this is going to take a minute, and then once we do that, we'll just, we'll just be able to cycle through the second we John Dykstra is the top of the business, so as far as the effects, he got that. <laughs> so if you can just put that on in a way that will um, not mark it in the other She's your queen! It's a sample of real life as opposed to recreating real life in a simulation. Uh, expression one, here we go. Three, two, one. John Dykstra said that the toughest thing is still skin to replicate. So when light shines on it, it not only reflects off of its surface, it reflects into it, and, and then it's diffused and comes through 
like a light source. And that's true dependent upon how much skin there is over bone or how much muscle tissue is beneath, whether it's fat or muscle. And, and that all changes the nature of the light that is reflected and refracted by your face or any other part of your body. So that's why skin is so hard to do. Very exciting stuff. By the way, the man who is speaking is John Dykstra, the founder of uh, Modern Special Effects. He uh, won an Academy Award for Star Wars. So he knows his stuff. And uh, we're definitely excited to take on the challenge of bringing this into the real-time world. And I think that it's safe to say that only an enormous quantum leap in computing power could make that possible. Uh, should we show them how that works? Let's do it. All right, yeah. let's show them. <laughs> so what we have here is the Dragon system, uh, the platform you're releasing today. And uh, on this monitor here, we're showing the data set that was just captured in that video that you saw of Hancock, this is Will Smith's light stage data. And unlike the expensive machines and hardware that were necessary in the past to be able to process this and render it, we're now rendering it in real time on this one system. And uh, you can see here that the, uh, you know, the data, the lighting, all the subtleties of that that are in the light stage data are captured and rendered perfectly. Now in this larger image, you're seeing the actual subsurface of Will Smith's skin. Uh, it shows essentially how diffuse light hits that surface. Um, the next layer would be how skin reflects off of it. Uh, and in this case, we can actually see in real time how uh, the, every pore that's captured on the light stage is reflected. So, that, so by combining these many elements, and there are hundreds that are captured on the light stage, we start to come towards building a real CG head that looks almost identical to the photograph. So here we are in real time. Rendering Will Smith, CG Will Smith, one computer. So now, just to put this in context, what you just did there, how long would that have taken with prior generation of technology? It has taken dozens of hours, and we're doing it now in a split second. So I mean, I think, I think you'll admit that's really, really amazing. It's brought, made possible through the magic of light stage and, of course, the great Otoy software, and we're happy to contrib contribute the hardware technology. And the hardware is great as well. Thank you so much, Dirk.